guessed it, like in the title, um, we just survived another hurricane. Unexpected last night, hit us directly. It was a category one, minimal damage. We had a little bit of flooding, but nothing major like last time. So yeah, our yard's a huge mess, but uh, we didn't lose power this time. They buried our power lines earlier this year, so that worked and I was able to work on babies in the nursery and get a bunch of customs done. I'm gonna let Mandy out for a little while cause she needs to go potty and we're gonna go in the nursery and I'm gonna show you what babies are leaving the nursery and what babies are coming up next. So baby Michelle left the nursery and has made it home to her mommy, Auntie Sharon. Um, there is a video, I did a playlist of aunties and cousins. If you wanna see box openings of babies that have gone home from my nursery to the aunties, you can go visit that playlist and see some box openings. Um, of those babies who have made it home, also go follow those people on their channel. Auntie Sharon has a reborn channel called Serenade Nursery, so go visit her. This little baby boy was for Auntie Candy. This is Twin A. She adopted Twin B from me a couple months ago, and she didn't know that there was a twin. <laughs> so her baby was a boy, and I made Twin A for her to match that baby so she could have twin boys. So this little guy, his name is baby Carter and she named the other one Caleb. So we have twins Caleb and Carter, which is super cute. Um, I'm gonna send baby home with a few things. I'm trying to get everything together. Um, I figured I would put you guys on the tripod and just kind of like pack up their stuff. So since this is like with my newborns and preemies, I usually do a hospital bracelet. And he has this sweet little preemie sized bottle that's absolutely adorable. It kind of matches. I try to do things matchy matchy as much as possible. And this baby's theme is kind of like this beautiful blue color. So um, I try to do kind of a theme if I can. I just collect things around the nursery that I have on hand for the babies. Uh, I try to shop as much as possible when I find things on clearance or on sale and I just stock up my room. I stock up my entire closet full of stuff for babies. That way when I make babies, I never know when dolls are going to get finished. Reborning is, is uh, a tricky thing. So you don't always know when you're going to be able to finish up a baby. So you want to kind of be prepared. Um, Christmas is coming up and so I thought these cute little reindeer uh, baby diapers would be really cute for Christmas because they're very Christmassy and baby has Christmas reindeers on the baby's outfit. So I guess Christmas is kind of the theme. She was hoping to get baby home by Christmas. I'm trying to get all of my customs home for Christmas. So I was working extra hard. I've been working late hours. I've also been working weekends because I will be going on a trip too. And so I also worked through the hurricane because I really want to try to desperately get these babies home and under the tree. So I thought these would be cute for um, brother Caleb and for baby Carter. So I'm sending four home with mom. This baby does come with a little COA. Um, this baby takes a full pacifier, as you could see. So I'm sending home this beautiful little hospital pacifier. Um, I have a couple of presents for mom to open. And um, this baby also comes with a little belly plate. So just some items that will be going home with baby along with a blanket. So I'm trying to get things together for this baby, but I also have another baby that I'm sending home and trying to get things together with as well. So this little boy is going home to Auntie Casey. This is also a custom baby and both moms really wanted me to do videos with these babies. So I'm trying in the midst of everything that is going on to do like a little video for them so they can see their babies while they're waiting to receive them. But um, this sweet little boy was a custom baby. You all know I'm obsessed with the Samuel kit, the Peaches kit, and now I'm also obsessed with Pascal. <laughs> so there are several babies that I am very uh, obsessed with. This mom kind of had an idea of what she wanted for hair. She really wanted some painted hair um, along with some combi hair. And she sent me pictures of some babies in the style that she wanted. So this baby has some beautiful combi hair on top and um, she wanted kind of like this little swoop in the front um, and had sent me some photos of babies that were fully rooted um, that she wanted me to kind of get an idea of what she was looking for. But uh, she did order painted hair with combi hair because I don't do fully rooted hair. It takes me way too long. 
and I've got some early onset uh, osteoporosis and arthritis that it's just too much for me. So I send those babies on that um, moms, if they want a custom and they want fully rooted hair, I have a rooting artist who loves to root hair and she does a beautiful job. She actually does a better job than I do. <laughs> I love her work. I love her rooting. Her style is amazing. It's a sport that she enjoys and I don't, but for me, it's just too painful and too time consuming for a full head of hair. So I have been offering some combi hair because with the painted hair, I don't have to do too, too much. It doesn't take me too long and it doesn't cause my neck and my back and my hands to hurt. So um, I'm just gonna throw this little pacifier in a little uh, gift bag. It matches this baby's little dinosaur outfit. So I guess dinosaurs and this color once again is kind of the theme like the teals and the greens and the blues for these baby boys. But this is a cute little passy. Um, this mama, both mamas have babies from me already. So that's awesome that I have returning people all the time. If you're interested in a custom um, right now I'm just doing customs. I don't have any babies on my website, but here's my website down below. I will insert it in for you. Um, I can do any baby custom for you right now if you know what kit you're looking for. I also on the website posted a couple of cute kits, like maybe four I put on my website with photos that um, are babies that I've already created, but you can order them as customs if you want to and it kind of gives you a price range of what you're looking at. So go visit my website. You can order one of the customs that are listed on there, one of the four I have on there because I have those kits. Or you can pick a kit and you can pick the hair color, eye color, gender, um, that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna do a hospital bracelet for this little baby. Um, I do have to do thank you cards for them. This baby has a really cool COA by Cassie Brace. That's what the prototype babies look like. And she kind of wanted me to do the hair that looked like this from the prototype photo. So that's what it looked like fully rooted and she just wanted like some painted and combi. So tried to do the baby the best I could the same way. Um, it's kind of hard for artists to copy other artists work. So um, she was just kind of giving me an idea but was like, you know, use your creativity and do what you think is best, which I love because with customs, you don't really get to be too creative. Um, she wanted a lot of details, so I did do stork bite, which she had asked for, milk bumps. Um, this baby has capillaries on the eyelids, on the ears, and a little scratch. She also asked me for a heel stick. So if you want details, just let me know what details you want, and I can do them for you. Um, I have a little blanket that I'll be wrapping this baby in and I have a couple of gifts. I always send the baby home, uh, babies home with outfits and diapers, bottles, pacifiers, you know, you get a good box opening. The boxes are small because shipping is expensive now with gas prices being up. So I just try to fill up the box as best as I can, but between the baby and the size of the box, there's not a room for a ton, but I do try to stuff things in here and there if I'm able to. Um, let me take you over to the table. I'm going to find some more stuff for these babies. And um, I'm going to show you a couple of babies I'm getting ready to uh, finish up and who else is on the table and who's coming up next. So I do have some babies drying on the table and some babies that are almost done. Um, one baby I'm excited about is the Shea kit. Look at that face. She's beautiful. She's a custom, but if you want me to do one for you, I can. Gauchin is a sold out limited edition. And so I never got to get a hold of this kit, but Alex asked me to do, um, Gauchin. And I was really excited to get that custom because I didn't think I was going to get to paint this baby. And I was really excited to paint this baby. Shea is Auntie Kim's baby. That baby's always a dream. Um, let me talk about Cookie. I have the Cookie Kit. We're almost to 10,000 subscribers, you guys. And I have a baby. I can pick out eyes that are going to fit her, too. I have eyes for her. I'm going to send her with a body and eyes. Um, we'll do a giveaway on the Cookie Kit. So if you're wanting to try your hand at reborning, you're a newer artist, you just need a kit, you know, we need to, you know, these times are tough. So if you need a kit, you can make money off of, feel free to reborn it and sell it. Um, but I will do a, a giveaway with this baby. 
She's a big, big girl and she's super cute. Smiley, happy baby with a tongue. I thought she would be cute and fun, especially for a beginning artist because she's a big baby. This is like a six month baby, kind of like Michelle and bigger babies are easier to paint. So if you're a collector and you can't paint, you can always hold on to this kit. I'll send it to you for free shipping. Everything will be US only. Sorry guys, shipping across you know the pond is expensive. So this will be a US only, I'm so sorry. Um, but I will pay for shipping US. Um, you can enter if, if you live across the pond, but you'll have to pay for the shipping. So, um, cause I can't do it. <laughs> but anyway, um, I thought if you're a collector, you can always put this kid away and save money to have either me reborn it for you later or somebody else, an artist of your choice, whatever you want to do with it. Um, I do have to wash up Pascal today. I have two new spots on the table now that I finish these two babies and Auntie Sharon ordered Pascal. So I'm going to do Pascal for her. And then this baby is Twyla. I have two Twyla kits. One I'm going to put in my collection this coming year, but look at how beautiful this baby is. I have a spot. I'm going to kind of save this spot in case I get another custom. I do have a custom opening still. Um, one that's just opened up. So this is a spot for a custom. Uh, if I don't hear from anyone, if you um, want a custom, you can reach out to me on my Gmail account. This is my email. I'm going to list it below. If you're interested in a custom or you want a custom Twyla, go ahead and uh, email me and I'll put your baby in this spot. So um, if you're interested in a custom, there you go. There's a spot open. I'm getting ready to finish Sassy. This baby is going to be redhead and blue eyes. I've never done a redhead Sassy. So she's getting there. And Auntie Sharon has baby Tink coming along as well. So these babies are nowhere near done. Wow, look at those veins and all that mottling. You can see it really good in the light today. She asked for a little scratch and some milk bumps and a um, little heel stick as well for her baby. So you can actually see their mottling pretty well under this lighting, that's pretty good. Um, so these babies are coming along. And then I am working on my last two biracial babies, you guys. Um, I originally, earlier this year, started dabbling in ethnic paints and I got a starter set from Bountiful Baby. And um, I made five ethnic babies with those paints and I was really happy with them. Um, but they were a starter set and I have enough for two more babies. Um, if I do have any left over, I'll be saving that paint to do an ethnic baby for myself in the future because I really want to do one um, that I can keep. And this one is the Ever Kit. She's going to have combi hair and she's going to be kind of like uh, biracial, half Caucasian, half Indian. And this baby is the Sage Kit and will be Caucasian and Hispanic. So these babies will be what I call ethnic babies. Um, that's what their parents have, um, sent me photos of what they want. And this mommy sent the kit in this one. I picked the kit to match it up to the baby. It was like a portrait baby. And I picked out what kit I thought would be best for that baby. So those will be the end of the ethnic paints because Genesis is no longer making paints. I have no way to get a hold of any more ethnic paints through Genesis. But until somebody comes up with some ethnic heat set paints, I'm out for now. Whatever I do have left over, I'm saving for myself because I do want to do one for myself. So these two babies will be ethnic babies. So if you want a custom, um, I can't do ethnic. I'm all, I'm all done on the ethnic for right now. Um, but that is who's coming up. These two will be coming up in the nursery next. So you can see how they're going to go. Um, Tink is going to have dark hair and dark eyes. She's beautiful that way. It's my favorite way to do Tink. So yeah, a little quickie video for you guys. I hope you guys are having a great week. I know I am, even though um, we had a, a quite the storm last night. Um, I barely slept through it, but yeah, so... That is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this vi video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel so we can hit 10K and do that giveaway. And I will see you guys on the next video. Take care of yourselves. Take care of those beautiful babies. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.